You are about to watch the most chaotic video known to man. Lauren, Lauren, I want those are my favorite. Lauren, I'm holding back no way back. <laughs> give me back no way back. Give me sync. Fine, give me this one then. You have to be down love. Oh, I think it's funny this way. No, you have to be hidden. No. I'm not in it. Yeah. I'm not in it. Yeah. Yeah. That was you. That was you. See. <laughs> My people. Nobody loved the books. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. They're bad deal. Why did you put yourself okay. so low? <gasps> That's how I always sit. Oh my god, you guys are sitting so high. That's why I said both. Lauren! <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying right here. <laughs> you look like a fool, giant. Okay. Well, now I look like a fool. Yeah. Hello my shiny bays, hello my besties. I am here with the two most important people in my life. Besides my mom, my grandma, my dad, shout out you guys, love you. Introduce yourselves. What? I'm Lauren. I wanna call myself giant. It's giant, it's giant. <laughs> Welcome to The Larry Show. A train wreck. Um, I picked 10 books for these two guy mans over here, bro dudes, to work together and figure out what the book is about, but based solely on the cover. And I'm just gonna be here, entertained. I feel fairly confident in myself. Welcome Are these books you've already read? Yeah. Well, no, not all of them. How'd you pick a book you haven't read yet? No, 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 because I wanted you guys to guess what it's about. I still know what it's about. Sure. I, okay. okay, I gotta grab the books. Everybody remain seated. Larry Show, episode mm -hmm. one. Oh my gosh, how cute. We could have a show, uh, three is the company. I have no idea what you're referring to right now. You could probably stand so you want to keep going back and forth. That was so rude. You you're saying that you guys sitting is the I mean, same height as me I mean, standing? I mean, ladies, look at the camera. That is, I've never been more roasted in my life. Honestly, yeah, I, c I could stand. I meant so you don't have to sit down, go grab a book, sit down, go grab a book. Unless yeah. you're just gonna put all 10 of them here. In reality, he meant it for like practicality and then you roasted it yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna stand and it was totally my idea. <laughs> I was saying, three is a company. I don't know what you're- You know exactly what I'm saying. No. The, the. One is too little and two is not enough. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. No, what the fuck? I'ma blow your house down. That's the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. No, the big bad wolf is a little Ready Ready Hood. <laughs> no, there's two wolves. What? Yeah. In Little Red Riding Hood, there's two wolves? No, it's two completely separate little stories. Little Red Riding Hood has her own wolf. Yeah, and, and then, then the three, the three little, little pigs with blowing your house down is a different wolf, and that's a different story. Bears are the one that like eat the soup or something and fall asleep. The porridge. The porridge and they fall asleep. Yeah, but it's like this bed's too big, this bed's too small, and that's what you just did. Small as well. Oh no, I was saying one is little, too little. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We'll be waiting for you. I have no idea. I'm so American. Is. So, oh my first God. book that you guys are going to guess. Here we go. Terms and conditions. There's a greenhouse. It's a romance. They're either attorneys or <laughs> they're two people who are fake dating and they each have certain rules for what, like, do this, don't do this. One of them's witch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what we've gathered from terms and conditions, greenhouse, attorneys, fake dating, rich. Attorneys is a no. They're, they're fake, like it's a marriage of convenience, mm -hmm. which kind of works towards fake dating because it's kind of the same, along the same lines. And they do have rules, yeah. Because one of them's rich. And one of them is rich, yeah. To be fair, when I looked at these books covers, because the way they're done, like they always show a house of some sort, I thought it was about an architect. She said Ted Mosby. <laughs> You mean like Mr. Mosby from like... <laughs> <laughs> the Prindle? No. <laughs> I was talking about uh, how, how, do I, how I met your mother. <laughs> Terms and conditions, honestly, I'm going to give you guys a win on this one because that was very good, but I started you off very easy. Me and Giant are just very smart. Pretty much nailed it. Now we've got There Are No Saints, Sophie Lark. He's in the mafia. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> Because she wants to be with him, she starts doing bad things. Or he's like some sort of obviously like dark character. I'm a bad boy. But she's not. She, she's a white snake. Yeah. I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he's a serial killer. <laughs> she's not. Okay, 
So bad boy. There's absolutely no mafia in it though. Oh, okay. Well, bad boy still. At all. But he is a serial killer and he does try to, like, the whole point is that he wants he, her to kill with him. No, because there's two serial killers and one of them tries to kill her and then he ends up trying to save her. But he is a serial killer, yeah. Did she become bad? Nice. No. So I'm going to give you guys a no for this. No, she just gives like a hard no, he loves me though. <laughs> you allowed it to happen before she is bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you murdered someone, I was like, uh, it's okay. It's gonna make me bad too. You know what? I can stay with you. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a no because this was kind of bad. Like, I mean, you went, like the dark character. Yeah, you guys got that right. But by like the happy half. No, I'm not gonna give you any happy half, Lauren. This is this is important. We're judging harshly. No. It's pretty spot on. Other than the it mafia. literally wasn't. Other than the mafia part. That's all you guys said. You guys said he's a bad boy, boy in the mafia. No, I said she's, she's good. in the mafia. You guys didn't guess any tropes. Nothing else. Mean, I said, what do you mean? So what the book is about. Yeah, but I he's said it was bad, spicy she's as not. Fuck. He's bad, she's not. <laughs> I said it was spicy as This fuck. was a terrible idea. Give me a happy half. Fine, half. He should be full. We're gonna have a yes pile, we're gonna have a maybe pile, and we're gonna have a, a no pile. Magnolia Parks. It's great because oh this God, one doesn't even show the back. I know you love this. I know you love this book. I do. It's one of my favorite <sighs> books of all time. I vote royalty because it's all England and then there's rich shit. Yeah, no, the name is BTB. Or it's someone else. Yeah. yeah. It's not a plus. I don't understand like the house vigil thing. Maybe they're both royal. They meet in a park. <laughs> what do you guys think the tropes are? Is rich and not rich the trope? I think it's low key enemies to lovers. Like maybe they like hated each other and they're in the same social circle. They're in differing families or whatever. Yeah, and they're yeah, both yeah. rich. They're not royal. <laughs> High society England though. They are high it. society. It's like a gossip girl. Make it London. Are, are they, they lords? They're not lords. They're oh, is it like chill, like kids? It's like gossip up? girl. It's like, it's like socialite. They dated and then they broke up and now it's like a second chance romance. A little bit, I would say there's a little bit of animosity because they do fight a lot. Yeah. They broke up. Give me a halfy half. So they're enemies. No, they're not in. Well, yeah, there's some kind of enemy. Okay, I, honestly, I'm gonna give you guys a yes on this one because Royals. that was that was really good. They're not royals, but like. But then I changed it to high society. Yes, yeah, but high society is right. By the way, Magnolia Parks is her name. They oh, did not meet hello. at a park. <laughs> and and the MP Hearts Hearts MP is Hearts Magnolia Parks. Oh. And it's BJ Ballantyne. Are they in different families? BJ Ballantyne. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. BJ Ballantyne. They are in the same friend group. Yeah. Are they wow. In families, like rich families. Well, yeah, they're in different families yeah, because they're not so no, related. Like, Still stuck on BJ yeah. Valentine. Yeah. So you guys got it right. Corrupt Penelope Douglas. The mafia. This looks like a church. This is like a cathedral style. I still think it's. It's a church. Church e vibes. Corrupt church. Old. The female character is the normie. The normie? Like, Don't ever say that again. So I need you guys to land on something, or else you're just gonna get a no for this one. I think, I think he's a priest. You think he's a priest? Sus what? You think he's a mommy? One of the two. One of the two. I don't think it's a priest. I think that's too much because if it doesn't make sense with the priest. You can't be a priest and a mafia. That's too much. That's too many things in one book. It's either a priest. Okay. And there is no mafia. Okay. Or he's in the mafia. And there okay. is no priest. Corrupt. Could be a politician. <laughs> Are they enemies? No, I don't think it's enemies. I think there's going to be a lot of controlling stuff in here. Yeah. That's going to be my trope or whatever. Whatever that trope is called, like the whippings and the stuff. <laughs> the whippings. Like the... I forgot. <laughs> None of that was right. The four horsemen, that's what they call themselves. But it's just dudes who like peaked in high school and they go around terrorizing the town. So, and like burning we'll shit down. But it's not the mafia. It's not the mafia but at all. Like they're like, they're like 20 years old. Yeah. Like it's not the mafia. But they're a group. Hey. They're a group. wreaks hey. havoc on the town. Wait. Yeah. Hold on. No, no, no. No, you're not getting a happy half for this one. Don't even try it. See it coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Put the low figure down. It's a group of men who peaked in high school. I'm telling you. And then she is the one that kind of told on them and got them arrested. Mm -hmm. And now they get out of jail and they're like, we need to get revenge. Kind of hard to explain, but you guys got to know on that one because that was not correct. That sounds like garbage. And he was right on the enemies. And then you were like, absolutely not no enemies. I don't think it's enemies. I didn't think it was. What do you mean the title doesn't make sense? The the he, like corrupt. he corrupts her and they're corrupt and he corrupts her because then she. I don't know on this book. I don't like that. Yeah, I didn't like it either. Oh. Twisted lies. But if I, oh. this is book four, so are they just twisted hate? Yeah, hate. but <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like betrayal trope because he's gonna like. He's gonna lie his way through everything, and then at the end she'll be like, "You're not really who you said he was." And like, "No, I really love you. I'm a good person. I promise." And then she'll be like, "No, you lied." And then, and then they'll come back together. There's pearls. Maybe he pretends to be rich. 
Maybe. Where she broke? <laughs> <laughs> then I don't know why she, why that would be such a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, she's probably the main character. Yeah. She, well, no, he's the main character because it's, he'll do anything to have her. So he's for sure the main character. Yes, but then it makes her look bad. Because if she's like, oh, you're broke? Ew. Well, not <laughs> that. It's not because he's broke. It's just because he lied about everything. I guess, yeah. They're both the main characters. I don't know when you guys got the sense that one has to be the main characters. This is dual POV. I'm going to give you a maybe because... He is not, he's not broke, he's very rich. Oh, is she he's broke? very rich. She is a social media influencer. She's also kind of rich. He just lies about something else that I cannot tell you or else it spoils all of Twisted Lights for anybody who has not read it. I'm gonna give you a half. Hooked, Emily McIntyre. It's a shoot romance. It's a retelling of <laughs> Peter Pan. A never after novel. You might be honest. <laughs> <laughs> My fishing theory may be wrong. <laughs> It's supposed to be Captain Hook. Yep, Maybe a mafia. I don't think it's mafia. Like, is she Wendy? You guys pretty much nailed this. It is Captain Hook and it is Wendy. And it oh, is yeah. like a kind of mafia vibe. Mm. Honestly. Mm. Or the lost, is that what they call themselves? The Lost Boys? The Lost Boys like work for him kind of thing. Oh, so it changed in the storyline? Yeah, okay. and they like the drug is pixie dust. Oh. So there's like, it's like a little retelling of Skip and Meth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a yes for this one. That was really good. I think this was the best one you guys have done so far. Here we go, different vibes. Thousand Boy Kisses, Tilly Cole. I don't know if she's just picking out names and she's like, I'm gonna try to kiss this dude now. If I remember correctly, one of them is terminally ill and then every time they kiss, they put like a note in a jar, yeah. like number one or something. Yeah. So honestly, yeah, that was very correct. You hashtag saw your eyes out when you read that? No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Never reading again. No. Haunting Adeline. HD Carlton. She falls in love with a ghost. Casper retelling. <laughs> he's either a ghost haunting. and he's haunting her, or he's just like a stalker and he's haunting, haunting her that way. Like he's open her grill. Haunting Adeline. I feel like maybe it's like an old bit, a period piece style a little bit, maybe perchance, perhaps. Maybe it's some like Could shit be. where he's like a vampire, so he's yeah. like 300 years old. Yeah, that's what I was. Thinking, you know, hashtag. He's <laughs> older. I was gonna say like whatever the show is called. Which are the oh, the originals. Yeah, or the one the one of them is her. Adeline's just a regular person. Yeah, 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 yeah. This person is supernatural really being. old. Supernatural being. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go with that blanket term. Adeline's an old name. I think it's somewhat of a period piece. Um, yeah. but she's a regular person. Name. You're just saying that's and an old lady name. Unless lady someone's name. watching and the name's Adeline. And Lo siento. In which case, I um, love it. Secondary. If it's not supernatural, it's a mafia. How did I get to that? Stop guessing the mafia! It's just a bunch of mafia ruins. All of that was wrong. Oh man. Uh, there's no supernatural anything in this book. He's oh. not a ghost. He's not oh. a vampire. It is just, in fact, her falling in love with her stalker. You're like, oh, you just only think I read mafia books. You just only read stalker books at this point. This is the only stalker book I have. Which one's the other stalker book? The other one's the serial killer, Lauren. Serial killer is basically like stalker. Excuse me? Which serial one's killer the one with a file. That's a stalker. That's twisted lies, and he didn't stalk. That's like a stalker. He didn't stalk her. Stalker, basically. Stalker, no, no. So I got it right. No, that was done in a fluffy way. He 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 with just a wanted fluffy to. Fluffy way of stalking someone. He wanted to get to know her. <laughs> By stalking her. This one, you guys got wrong. I'm not giving this to you because I it's- I got it right. Let it be known. And you guys will get this. American Queen. Beauty pack. I serve at the pleasure of the president. She's mistress. This one's the only one I haven't read. She's mistress. I agree with that. I this serve at your, the pleasure of the TBR, president. wasn't it? You're one of the options. Yeah. And I said no. Yeah. That's really it. I feel like it's boring. That's why I didn't pick it. Zero Simone, if you're watching this, I love you. This is the president, the vice president, and her in a relationship all together. It's a polyamorous thing and it's a trilogy. Are they both married though? So we got it. I don't know. I haven't read it. Okay. Is she married to the president? Is that what's happening? <gasps> no, no, no. Is it in public or is it in... Oh wait, you didn't read it. Yeah, you guys are asking me way too many questions. I haven't read that book. Last one. Kind of an easy one. Saint. Saint, sinner, and I forgot the third one or whatever. She's a churchgoer and he's the priest. She's a churchgoer! <laughs> I think this is the first one. I think this is the one where he's a priest and then... He breaks his vow. And then he... Three different brothers. The first one, it's called priest. Oh, uh, that's the priest one? <laughs> okay, we got it wrong. That was the priest one. The second one is called sinner. The third one's called saint. He... Uh, it is in fact an MM brother's best friend and he becomes a monk like they did they they dated for a long time Something happens he becomes a monk and then it's them trying again and obviously, you know him being a monk So there's a lot of religion. It's very dark. 
there is depression in this. You guys got it extremely wrong. Fuck. This is the ones you got right. This is the ones you got half -y half. And this one's the ones you got no. So we won. No, you guys did good. You guys did good, but you could have done better. That was very disrespectful. <laughs> Where you're going? We're not finished. Anyway, um, let us know if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> wholesome, wholesome fun. Um, let me know if you guys want to see this again and what books I should show them. Anyway, love you so much. Hope you have such a great day. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs>